What is ionization and what is electrolysis? And what are the different technologies out in the marketplace to make hydrogen gas? So we have a King and Yush unit right here. This has a process of ionization and electrolysis. So ionization means that there's minerals involved. So you're ionizing the mineral. You're putting a charge on the mineral. And that's why this unit can get several different types of water, splitting the waters. So there are some downfalls to this technology. And there actually is quite a few studies now, 10 years of information data research, that proves there's no reason to drink ionized water. It's the hydrogen in the water that you get from electrolysis is what makes this technology powerful. So you have electrolysis and you have ionization. There's plates in here. There's usually three, seven, 12. The water will flow in and out, negative, positive, flooding the water, puts a charge on it, and then it also has electrolysis. So with the hydrogen technology, what you're gonna find is you don't go through ionization. You don't need to have a certain pH water going in. You don't need minerals going in. You can have distilled water. And in electrolysis, there's an anode and a cathode separated by a membrane. This membrane repels minerals. And so it's not gonna stick and build up in the unit as like it will something like an alkaline ionized water technology. So rest assured, you get a higher production of hydrogen. It's more consistent. When you're going with an alkaline technology, you will get some hydrogen depending on how you clean the unit and what kind of water goes into it. But you can never use reverse osmosis in an alkaline water technology unless you're adding minerals back to the water because it won't create the process that it needs to create the water that you're looking for because you have to have those minerals to create the ionization process, which is a downfall because you cannot have good filtered water if you're still allowing minerals to go through because you know pharmaceuticals, heavy metals, they are very tiny, especially fluoride. So you have to be able to get, you wanna be able to get these chemicals out, which is why you don't wanna have to worry about the pH of the water because there's more minerals involved. So electrolysis is the way to go. Ionization is technology from the past when we didn't really know what and how this was making hydrogen or even what was even making the results happen in people's bodies. We thought it was the alkalinity. Turns out it's only the hydrogen. So this is considered older technology. Now we've all moved over to straight electrolysis to give you the best result and the least amount of maintenance. I hope this information was helpful for you and make sure to share it with people that you know so we can get everyone educated on why hydrogen water as opposed to alkaline ionized water.